There you go, Bobby. It's exciting. I'll hey. just stand here. And, hey, do that. I'll just do that all day and I'll be the Hey, look what else he's got. I'll be he a decoy. A, he has a mojo dove with no wings. Hey, it's a decoy. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, it's a, like a wingless decoy. Look at it. Ooh. It'll work. Right. It'll look like decoys. Bang, bang, bang. A boom, 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 boom. A bang, 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 bang. I love the way you fly. Oh, I love the way you die. I love the way you walk. I love the way you fall. I knock you off of your feet. Something good to eat. No, oh, boom, boom, boom. How, 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 how. I love the first weekend in September uh, because that means dove season is open. It has been a long time since I've shot a shotgun unless I'm out skeet shooting. So uh, it's time to get your hunt on. And dove season in Arkansas is always good. Been fishing for a while. Hey man, the season's ready to kick off dove hunting. I'm excited about it. Hey, love fishing, but man, love bird hunting. Just like duck hunting, but dove hunting is always kicking off. Uh, you know, the duck season kind of getting ready in the fall. So we had uh, Chad Pace and Josh Grady. They were out kind of scouting for us. Set us up, so we're gonna be ready. We got a big field loaded up. Doves were flying late yesterday afternoon. So the opening day should be boom time. We know where they are. They've cut this field and uh, harvested already. It's supposed to be a lot of doves there. And so, but doves move, they move around. They migrate, they move field to field kind of stuff. And uh, so anyway, they did a scouting for us. We showed up early that morning, uh, getting ready to go. Bulldog again, he's excited in the background as we're talking about it, but uh, getting ready to go, man. And then the sun starts coming up. Got a lawn chair, got some drinks in the cooler, got some water and some, if we call them soda pops out there, Diet Coke for all of us that need Diet Coke and uh, stuff like that, but we're ready to go. Wake up, doves. They like, ooh, ooh. What they're doing, Bo, they're cooling. <laughs> You got a dove call on you? Got you. Works for almost every other sport. You can call deer in with a grunt call. You can call turkeys in with a turkey call. You can call ducks in with a duck call. So why not dove? Maybe I've come up with something. Bob gets these ideas that he is really a good dove caller. And so I think he's trying to entertain me, which is not working. Uh, I'm not into being entertained mood at that time. No, no. I ain't petting you. Oh yeah, got a little dove mojo, got a couple of dove decoys we're gonna set out. I think we got it this year, we're gonna do it right. Um, and I've, in the past that seems to have worked pretty good, so I don't see why not it won't work this time. Yeah. Behind me. Yep. Flew right by that tree. Flew in between them, didn't it? Uh -huh. we, we always like toys. Uh, we lose toys is our problem, I think. But yeah, we had some we had some dub mojos. I think I might have had a wood duck mojo that I was using too, because you know with the wings, it's kind of some attraction. So that's always fun. Got stuff to play with while you're out there. Oh, man! <laughs> what is wrong with you? Man? Oh! Oh! You're not right. See what I have to put up with right here? Oh, my God. Even in my own shop. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Man, you look like the bird man on a sci-fi movie or something. That's weird. Boom Time with Bob and Archie is proud to be brought to you by Bandit and Avery Outdoors. Get in the red zone and seal the deal.
Hello everyone, I'm Bob Snell with Boom Time with Bob and Archie. I just wanna say thank you for your support. Thank you for watching Boom Time and being part of a ministry that is all about the life-saving gospel of Jesus Christ. We are a 501-3C nonprofit ministry totally supported through your advertising partnerships and your donations. Everything you give goes directly to the production of the program and the cost of TV airtime to show Boom Time in television markets all across the nation. Archie and I are not paid for what we do with Boom Time. Everything you give goes directly to advancing the gospel through this television ministry, which through your support is currently being broadcast into more than 5 million homes across the nation. So if you'd like to help be a part of Boom Time and what we're doing, go to our website, boomtime.tv. There at the top, you'll see a donate button. You'll have a couple of different options on how you can help support us financially and help us continue to share the gospel through this television ministry. Do you even know what you did with your tax refund last year? Hey, I'm Ray Osmond from Premier Auto and I want to get you in a nicer, newer car today. Nobody's going to work harder. Nobody's got a better inventory, and nobody's had more success getting people into the cars they love and payments they can afford. That's the premier promise. Come see us at 2200 Redwood Boulevard, and you'll know why thousands have bought here at Premier. Or check us out at premierhasit.com. Premier Auto, a better way to buy a better vehicle. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie brought to you by Russell's Truck Accessories. Dove hunting can be super slow or it can be unbelievably fast and furious. I mean, it can be where you don't know which one to shoot because there's so many flying in so many different directions because those dudes, those dudes are like darters. They're like doves are like so they're hard to shoot because they, they kind of change direction really quick and they can go and they can make a really good shot look really, really bad. Um, but when things are slow, man, is it slow. It's like crickets out in the middle of the field. It usually can be a non-stop. Uh, I mean, you can hit your gun barrel up dove hunt. That was not happening to us right there at the very beginning that morning. Well, that's annoying, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, I think when, pla when planes are flying around like crop dusters low and flying over the fields or close to where you are, dove are gonna tend to avoid those areas. So um, that did not play uh, toward us having a successful hunt. Is that our luck? Our luck was, I don't know, maybe the Lord was trying to teach us something that morning like patience, you know? Yeah, dovey, dovey, dovey. Oh, oh, oh. See him on that side. So I said, I, oh, we looked at where tree line over. I was watching him on that tree line over there. He was going back and forth. I'm ready to roll. Hey, it's the it's the high sign. Let's do something. Uh, sometimes I say, let's do something even if it's wrong. But I don't mean that in a bad way. But it was time to move. After an hour or two of that and uh, things not working quite like we want them to, it's time to move on to location number two and see if we can do any better. Right here, Archer, your side. Ah, uh, yes! Archie's on the board. Back. Dub down, dub down, dub down. Yeah, Bo's probably pretty upset because it's been, you know, six, seven months since duck season ended and uh, he's ready to pick something up. So, Bo knows, baby. He's ready to go. He's got a good sniffer on him. So, you know, he can win those doves, win them, uh, which is W-I-N-D, wind them. And uh, he can he can catch that smell and find them in the big grass, and that's what we needed. So I'm glad he's with us. Hey, I'm gonna miss that dog. I'll need, I will need emotional therapy counseling when that dog dies. I love that dog. Here comes one right at us, Archie. 
Or is that a kill D? Dub. Get ready. You got him. Yep. Oh, boom. We're not even gonna go get him, Bo. Take him down. He's dead. Down goes Frazier. Another one bites dust. That's good. That, one, that one was perfect. Perfect. What you're gonna see on the camera is gonna be good. If this camera's still rolling, because I swung here, shot, then went over the camera, boom, and then shot it. You'll see me pick up the gun over the camera. I was like, oh, gotta wait. We get to spot, hey, there are guys shooting across the road from us. They've been shooting all morning. We actually heard their shooting. Now, this was a field kind of where you get there and you're like, we probably should have been here at daylight this morning. We'd have really killed them. Yeah, we're both pretty, Archie and I are both pretty good shots. We don't miss a lot, so we pretty much hit every dub that we shot at on that day. Oh, wow, it's going everywhere. Pow. Behind it. Yeah, come on. Oh, heads up. I can't see. Gosh. How many times are you gonna shoot at that bird? That was four. But we did, we did miss a few that made us look silly. The easy shots are always one you miss. The hard shots are ones you always make. Is that another one coming? Yep. Right here. Got that Got one, that though, one shot. Boom. Missed that one. Shoot him. Doves are still flying, so we're shooting a few. But again, there's got to be something. You've got to have that X factor. What is that X factor that you can do to bring the doves in, whether it's the call, as I demonstrated earlier. But how about if we tried something different? We try to take those decoys and to put them as close as possible to the hunters. We have gone to drastic measures. We're now trying the old decoy on the hat trick. We do refer to this as the hat trick, not to be confused with the hat trick in hockey, where you score three goals. This is the hat trick in dove hunting. Bob decides to put dove decoys on his head, which is not good when you're dove hunting, you know, so if someone thinks it's a dove, uh, it's not the smart thing to do. So all the kids watching this, don't ever do that, okay? Whatever he's doing, just remember, just don't do what Bob does, you'll be fine. Dove can't resist it. I'm resisting it. Well, you're not a dove. I know, I'm really resisting it, but I'm glad that you're wearing it. I think it works. I'm glad it's you and not me or Bo. I mean, it can't Aren't be. you, Bo? I mean, you gonna do any worse? Right. I mean, come on. I don't think we're gonna get any slower. If I'm not in the mood to laugh, and I don't think things are funny, it does not make any difference what he does to me. I don't think it's funny. It does not cheer me up. It makes it worse. Might as well just leave me alone uh, in those situations, so. Am I ever worried people will not take me seriously? If you take me seriously, then you have an issue because there is no reason I should ever be taken seriously. Unless I'm talking about Jesus, then I'm serious. This segment presented by The Camo Shop and Rice Life. For more about Boom Time with Bob and Archie, visit us on the web at boomtime.tv. There you can find all of our past episodes and connect with us through Facebook, Twitter, and email. I'm Bob Snell with Boom Time with Bob and Archie. I just want to say thank you for your support. Thank you for watching Boom Time and being part of a ministry that is all about the life-saving gospel of Jesus Christ. 
We are a 501-3C nonprofit ministry totally supported through your advertising partnerships and your donations. Everything you give goes directly to the production of the program and the cost of TV airtime to show Boomtime and television markets all across the nation. Archie and I are not paid for what we do with Boomtime. Everything you give goes directly to advancing the gospel through this television ministry, which through your support is currently being broadcast into more than five million homes across the nation. So if you'd like to help be a part of Boomtime and what we're doing, go to our website, boomtime.tv. There at the top, you'll see a donate button. You'll have a couple of different options on how you can help support us financially and help us continue to share the gospel through this television ministry. Get in the red zone and seal the deal. At Hytro, we design and manufacture conveyors. These are some of the most advanced systems in the material handling industry. There are lots of benefits to working at Hytro. We believe in staying healthy, so we have a health clinic and a fitness club on site. We want every member of our family to have these benefits, and that's why they're free. We've called it the Hytro family since the 1970s. It's not a cliche or a marketing scheme. It's how we feel about every employee that comes to work here. We want to see you at High Troll. Do you even know what you did with your tax refund last year? Hey, I'm Ray Osmond from Premier Auto, and I want to get you in a nicer, newer car today. Nobody's going to work harder, nobody's got a better inventory, and nobody's had more success getting people into the cars they love and payments they can afford. That's the Premier promise. Come see us at 2200 Redwood Boulevard, and you'll know why thousands have bought here at Premier. Or check us out at PremierHasIt.com. Premier Auto, a better way to buy a better vehicle. Shop Talk for Boom Time is presented by Hydro. Hey, it's Boom Time. Bob and Arts, and today is Shop Talk. Oh, that's ready? Your, we that's your Oh, reading, I'm sorry. That's your deal. I was having a quiet that time. That was your deal. I'm I was sorry. having a quiet that's time. That's the way you're, you, you start that. I'm sorry. Here you go. <laughs> because it's Boom Time with Bob and Archie. And Archie. That's Thank correct. This sorry. is where we take the Bible <laughs> and we put it into application, right? Right. That's it. And we've been talking about spiritual disciplines. Yes. What about the spiritual discipline of worship? Worship. A lot of people are a little confused about that. They think it's just merely singing. Yeah. You know, that's how I grew up thinking that, but it's not. So we're going to look at a passage today from Luke chapter 7. Here we go. Where we see some real authentic worship of a lady uh, before the Lord Jesus Christ. So Bob, you're going to read it? There it is, Luke 7, 36. You need my glasses to read it. I'm good. I can see well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not like you, but I'm, I can see better. Now, one of the Pharisees was requesting him to dine with him, and he entered the Pharisee's house and reclined at the table. And there was a woman in the city who was a sinner. And when she learned that he was reclining at the table in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster vial of perfume. And standing behind him at his feet, weeping, she began to wet his feet with her tears and kept wiping them with the hair of her head and kissing his feet and anointing them with the perfume. Now when the Pharisee who had invited him saw this, he said to himself, if this man were a prophet, he would know who and what sort of person this woman is and who is touching him that she is a sinner. Yeah, that's a wild passage. Mm, it is. <laughs> you know, a few things about this uh, lady here. She is, uh, she has a contrite, broken heart mm -hmm. over sin. Uh, she knows that Jesus is in the house of a Pharisee, Simon. Uh, so one of the first characteristics of her, she is uh, basically responding to who Christ is. Yeah. Simon had invited Jesus to his home, but there's some things he didn't do. He didn't greet him with a kiss. He didn't uh, anoint his head with oil. He didn't wash his feet, mm -hmm. you know? And so in that culture, there'd be a court area outside and those people who were not invited could stand on the outside barrier, maybe right. looking through a fence and watching or whatever. Uh, apparently this woman could tell that Christ's feet had not been washed. So Simon had a kind of a relationship with Christ where, hey, I'm just gonna check out, I'm about to come over to eat, but I, I'm not I'm not all in to who right. you are. But this lady uh, was, so she comes in, she's uninvited. Uh, she's very broken and contrite. And if you read the story or have ever heard it before, maybe the first time many of you, you gotta ask a question, 
why is she so broken? Why does she do this? So I ask that question about her. Why is she so <laughs> broken? Why does she do this? I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, the harmony of the Gospels is, we'll take the Gospels and, and kind of lay out chronologically the events of all right. of them. If you go over to Matthew 11, uh, it occurs right before this passage, and that's where Jesus said, publicly, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also uh, the place where he says, uh, my father reveals who I am to people, basically. This woman responded because she realized who Christ was, that he was a savior. So she comes in and uh, she's weeping. She's broken of her sin. Probably notices his feet have not been washed. That was a cultural mm -hmm. thing. They all wore sandals, you know, back then. And uh, she takes a vial of perfume right. and breaks it. Uh, now here's what's crazy. When Simon says, this man would probably know it, this woman's a sinner, most likely she was a prostitute. Yeah. She was a woman, a loose woman, who'd mm -hmm. been with several men kind of stuff. The perfume was probably used in her business, her yeah. trade. Uh, and so it was the most valuable possession she had. So it's a neutral object had been used for evil. Now it's being used to anoint the feet right. of Jesus, the Messiah. So in her brokenness and contrite heart, she is responding to who he is and she comes in uh, and does that. Uh, That's a beautiful picture, just a portrait of, oh, of wow. true worship. Yeah, you know, now Simon, and this is a picture, true worship on her part, mm -hmm. but it's a picture of rejection on Absolutely. Simon's part because he is like, he is embarrassed at yes. what's taking place in his house. He can't believe this is going on uh, and this kind of stuff like that. And, and so he rejects Christ and yeah. we see that, I mean, all the time. You either, you either accept Christ, right. You worship him for who he is, or you reject him. And so this lady uh, was very broken. She knew who Christ was, realized that, knew he was the only one uh, who could forgive. Simon was very self-righteous mm -hmm. in regard. Now, the very end of the passage, we didn't read that. Right. Jesus goes on, tells a story, a parable about two debtors and who had been forgiven much right. or whatever. But he looks at the woman and he tells her, he says, your sins are forgiven. Mm -hmm. He says, your faith, has, your faith has saved you. Now I'll tell you what, the greatest need uh, our greatest problem is that we're sinners. Right. And our greatest need is forgiveness. And the greatest words that anybody can ever hear from Christ is that your sins mm -hmm. are forgiven. So when we talk about worship as a discipline, it's not just singing, it's a lifestyle. Right. So you worshiped him because you realized who he was, uh, what he had done, uh, was doing, and what he was willing to give her. Right. He gave her forgiveness for sin. Mm -hmm. That lady's in heaven today uh, because of that. So worship is a spiritual discipline that we practice, okay? Uh, it promotes growth. And so uh, if you're involved in a local church, encourage you, man, worship's a lifestyle, but you worship through giving, you worship through Bible study, right. you worship through singing. Uh, everything we do, but you're giving glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. So it's one of those things where if, you know, if you're looking for a church in your area, you want to be involved in a, in a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church, we can help you do that. Yeah, we can. And and, and the reason we say Bible-believing, Bible-teaching, because there's some churches that call themselves churches, but right. they don't preach the gospel no. of Christ. And we don't make sure you're in the right place so we can help you with that. You know, there may be some of you out here just like this lady. Maybe the Holy Spirit of God, is you've been watching uh, the show and been with us maybe for several times, and the Lord is really showing Showing you who he is mm -hmm. and there's something going on within you saying man what is this and and that's conviction of sin the Bible says that if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised from the dead we shall be saved we come to him in repentance like this woman right. okay doesn't mean you got to cry crocodile tears or whatever yeah. but you come to him broken contrite knowing he's only to forgive you ask him he'll forgive you he will save you. You'll be born again. Names written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And uh, we will be together for all eternity. And here's what I really believe. I think there's going to be great fishing in heaven. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> We're ready for that. Big it's fish. It's going to be very good. Yes. <laughs> Interested in hearing more from Pastor Archie? You can watch all of his sermons from Central Baptist Live or on demand at centralbaptist.com slash live. This segment of Boom Time with Bob and Archie is brought to you by Glenn Sane and MC Express. Closed captioning of Boom Time with Bob and Archie, brought to you by Apex Communications. I'll take the ones on the left. Hey, get them, get them, get them. Uh -oh. I can't see. Man, what's wrong with you? The sun is killing me. Hey, you need some Oakley sunglasses from Lens. I got a prescription. Hey, I got a prescription. In one hour, they'll give them to an you. An hour, hour. I'll be hour. back in an hour, and before you can kill your living. No way. At Hytrol, we provide material handling solutions that move the world. We've been designing, developing, 
and delivering advanced material handling systems for over 70 years. Hytrill operates on a promise, a promise to make lives better, to create the solutions people care about, to make incredible things happen each and every day. At Hytrill, we know what we'll always be doing, pushing boundaries, fostering relationships, and delivering what comes next. Hey Rusty, this is Bob Snell. I emailed you my prescription a little earlier. I need those Oakleys just like Archie's and I'll be there in a little bit. We just want to say thank you for making Boom Time with Bob and Archie the most watched weekly program across Region 8 and in Mississippi's Golden Triangle. Boom Time is consistently rated number one week in and week out across all television networks. So again, thank you for choosing Boom Time and thank you for your financial support. We truly appreciate you and hope you get a smile from some of our adventures and are blessed by our biblical teachings. Because with Boom Time, it's all about Jesus. Here you go, Bob. You guys are fat. Thanks, Rusty. Man, there are doves flying everywhere. I need Bob. I'm back. I'm back. Right there. there. I can see now. Wow, you actually hit those. Hey, Lynn's Masters will take care of you, baby. I can see you again. This segment brought to you by the Arkansas Baptist Foundation and NEA Baptist. The wings of the wide wing dove. You know, we're here at Confession Camp, Boomtime Bob and Arts, and we have a disclaimer. What's Us disclaimer? three have nothing to do with you. What's the problem? <laughs> You're, something's wrong with you. What's the matter with me? He has issues. And you. I am dove ready. That, that's this more is than dove ready. I got a dove that's right here. I got dove. the hat trick. I got this worked. You saw who outshot who today. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Last year, you wore me out because I had my full choke in. This year? Oh, it's always an excuse. Different story. It's always an excuse. What's your it? excuse today? I pulled the trigger like seven times. And you hit two of them. <laughs> so it's pretty good. I really got three. That's pretty good. <laughs> it was a good day, though. It was a good day. It's a fun day. Whenever you're out shooting dove instead of sleeping or doing nothing, and whenever you have someone that's dressed like him and acts like him, it makes it all the much better. Hey, what does the fox say? Do you guys know? Yeah. What does the fox say? It's a song. Anyway. Can't get no help. Oh, the song. Hey, I do the have song. to confess. What does the fox uh, say? Hey. Ding, 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 bong, 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 ding, 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 Hey, we are rolling. Hey, I will confess, I did not shoot very well at all. Me neither. So that's my confession. Is that yours too? I shot pretty good. Oh, so you I thought, chest? Well, you oh. had the, you had a, what, what was your confession though of the reason why? My choke was a little, a little large. It's a little uh, stuck. You had the full choke in, couldn't get it out, right? It was extra. Full. Has it rusted, <laughs> extra full and rusted into the barrel? Yes. And it was impossible to get out impossible. last night. So it makes it a little tough to shoot dove unless they're about 70 yards away. <laughs> and then you might be able to hit one. And most of those that you shot at were not 70 yards away. <laughs> but I saw somebody knocking them down. Wasn't me, I can tell you that. Well, if he's shooting and missing, then you're the only other one shooting over there, so it had to be you. You had to be knocking them down. Yeah. Somebody knocked them down out of that Absolutely. group, Absolutely. That's it. We knocked down a few. Do you have a confession about almost uh, wounding the camera? I never came close to wounding. I was very cognizant at all times of where the camera was, where the cameraman was, yeah, where our, the dog our, was, our in where shock Archie right was, now, standing behind. where everything was. <laughs> shock. Now, his teeth may be right a little bit. I think he's bleeding. But he's okay, yeah. other than that. <laughs> his beard got hey, a little trim. I had like windows of shooting. I had yeah. like between the decoys, between the camera, between the cameraman, and I've learned to kind of get behind Bob just a little bit. So when he swings, because he steps forward when he shoots and swings out. So you learn. It's all good though. We have, we're going to eat dub because Bob did kill some. Delicious. <laughs> it is delicious. That's good. Oh, there's a bird coming right there. There goes one. Yeah. He's safe. Bye-bye. He's safe. Until next time. Hey, thanks for joining us today, guys. No, we're not doing oh, that. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, it's ah, I'm attacked by the dove. Yeah.